Imagine a world where love defies all odds, even towering height differences, societal expectations, and physical disabilities. In today's video, we're diving deep into the stories that prove one thing, love is truly blind. But these aren't your typical love stories. From a couple living in an underground sewer for decades, to partners overcoming jaw-dropping physical challenges, you'll be left wondering, can love really conquer everything? Before we dive into this list, make sure to leave a like on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's Star 5 giveaway of a brand new iPhone 16, then all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and watch this video to the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 10. Joseph Williams and Vania Joseph Williams was born with half of his face missing, a condition known as autofacial syndrome. As you can expect, it has always been difficult for him to have permanent friends or even get on the dating scene. Joseph found dating difficult as the lack of a jaw or chin left him with low self-esteem and a feeling of worthlessness made so much worse by bullies. However, that changed drastically in 2019 when he met Vanya, a 39-year-old woman from Chicago that returned his feelings of love. This inspired more confidence in his looks and the pair continued to enjoy their visible love for each other. Much to everyone's surprise, the pair tied the knot in 2020 and there have been lots of comments about it. Most of these are from internet trolls who accuse Vanya of faking her feelings for Joseph just to get the attention and possible cash out financially from the situation. Still, they have refused to allow these opinions to shape their family life as their bond continues to grow stronger. Number 9. Reynaldo and Ronnie Reynaldo and Ronnie are nothing like the typical couple, as they have a whopping 34-year age gap between them. The pair met online when Ronnie was 27 years old, while Ray was 61 years old. So, what made them fall in love? Well, Ray noticed her comments online about being attracted to mature men, and with Ronnie being a very beautiful woman, he decided he might as well give it a try. From this moment, they struck a cool friendship, and their love grew after the first date. As expected, Ray already had a family with kids, but he needed a woman in his life, and Ronnie fit the description perfectly. Of course, there have been lots of criticisms about their relationship, with many calling Ronnie a gold digger, who is only after the money of an older white man. Ronnie insists that this is genuine and continues to ignore the hateful comments while admitting that they do get to her sometimes. Number 8. Maureen and Rio Maureen was born with a weak motor system which made it difficult for her to walk. She was also diagnosed with scoliosis when she was just 10 years old. However, that hasn't stopped her from being the main character in her very own remarkable and unique love story. Scoliosis is a spinal condition that causes an unnatural curving of the spine, and this added more physical challenges to her life. Despite these difficulties, she continues to express strength and resilience, both part of the qualities that got her hooked with Rio. They met online in 2006 through a game, and from then, their relationship deepened. Over time, they met physically, and despite the judgment from outsiders, they have stayed together for more than a decade. Rio insists that he isn't with her for financial gain, but truly loves Maureen. He even helps her carry her out of bed and into her wheelchair, cooks and feeds her. Number 7. 
Scott and Divine Many people call Divine Rapsing a gold digger because she is an incredibly beautiful woman married to Scott Smith, a man with an autoimmune disease that affected his appearance. The pair met for the first time in 2017 on the popular social media platform Facebook. From that moment, their long-distance relationship grew as Divine was in the Philippines. Interestingly, she was searching for someone else online when she stumbled on Scott's profile. Eventually, Scott traveled to see Divine and their relationship grew for four years before Divine finally joined them in Texas where they officially tied the knot. Scott was diagnosed with scleroderma at 13 and told the heartbreaking news that he may not live past 23 years old. So some of the hurtful comments include accusing Divine of using him for her citizenship, knowing he would not live for long. This hasn't stopped them from living a happy life. Number 6. John and Phyllis Cook This couple proves that you're never too old to find love. In May 2019, John and Phyllis were the talk of the Kensington residents in Sylvania, Ohio, where they officially tied the knot after dating for about a year. It's not strange for two people to get married, but it's definitely interesting when the man is 100 years old and the woman is 103 years old. John is a World War II veteran and he met the latest love of his life in the retirement hall. This wasn't a rash decision, even though they had both lost two spouses in the course of their life. Their relationship blossomed over the last several months until the devout Christian woman, Phyllis, decided it was best they tie the knot and spend the days they had left together. Now all they do is enjoy meals, sit in the sun, and zip around their retirement home in their mobility scooters. Number 5. Alan and Sigrid Wade Sigrid, a woman from France, decided to write the prisoners on death row because she has always been against the death penalty. However, things quickly took an interesting turn when she started writing to Alan and fell in love in the process. Alan Wade was convicted in 2005 of robbery, kidnapping, and murder. Eventually, she moved all the way to Florida to be closer to him. This was a love without the possibility of parole, but Sigrid didn't care and eventually got married to Alan in 2016 while he remained behind bars. It didn't matter that he had been in prison for 15 years and on death row for 12 years. Although she refused to reveal how it was done, since conjugal visits are not allowed for death row inmates, Sigrid fell pregnant and gave birth to a son. It's not surprising that her friends and family members don't agree with this relationship, but she doesn't care as much. Still, she admits that it is challenging raising her child alone. Number 4. Amy Wolf and 1001 Knocked Say hello to the woman that fell in love with roller coasters. Amy Wolf first rode the 1001 Knocked at the age of 13, and she believed she was instantly attracted to this ride. She believed that she was so in love with this roller coaster that in 2009, she decided to marry it. Yes, an actual ceremony where she changed her last name to Weber, the manufacturer's name. Amy even sleeps with a picture of the Knobles ride close by, and it's not surprising that she has some spare nuts from the 1001 knot. Before getting married to it, Amy went on the ride thousands of times and just couldn't get enough. She wrote it a record 3,000 times, definitely an unusual love interest. Sadly for Amy, the amusement park took this ride down in 2020 after it had been ridden on for more than two decades at the park. They replaced it with Tornado, which spins in a circle until it hits top speed. Hopefully, 
Amy won't get married to this as well, especially as she is also married to a pipe organ and a banister. Number 3. Liu Ye and Liu Ye Many of us love ourselves, and that shows in how we take proper care of things that concern our lives. But imagine loving yourself so much that you get married to a life-sized image where you're grinning boldly. Liu Ye took sologamy to a whole new level when he decided to do something drastic after feeling largely dissatisfied with his reality. So he got out a cardboard and created a life-sized cutout photo of himself wearing a red bridal gown in 2007. Then this 39-year-old Chinese man had a whole ceremony where he married himself. Of course, psychologists have called this a psychologically unhealthy behavior, but Liu Ye doesn't care about this. He believes that this marriage made him whole again, and was proud to hold this event at a traditional courtyard packed with more than a hundred guests. Number 2. Arif Ibrahim and Amina This couple braved through height bias to find true love. Amina Ahmed Shaikh was just 20 when she fell in love with Arif Ibrahim Tambe, who was 32 at the time. A major difference between them was while that Amina stood at 5 feet tall, Arif was only three feet and had to move around a lot with the help of his wheelchair. The height difference created several hurdles, but they surpassed it all to become a husband and wife. Thankfully, Arif was up front with Amina about his limitations, but this didn't discourage her as she was ready to accept him without limitations. They got married after only two years of dating, even though Amina's extended family didn't approve of this union and refused to attend the wedding. The couple have since built an amazing life for themselves, strengthened by the birth of their son, Asim. Number 1. Restrepo and Mariah Garcia Miguel Restrepo and Mariah Garcia are one of the most unusual couples in the world. Miguel is a former drug addict in Colombia who carved out a place for himself in an abandoned sewer in Medellin. Here, he has lived with his wife Mariah Garcia for more than three decades. Mariah has stood by him through incredible hardship, which is quite extraordinary given their challenging living conditions. However, they were able to convert this sewer into a cozy home, complete with basic necessities and even an extra space for a dog. This is definitely not your conventional relationship, but both seem satisfied with sharing their love and companionship this way. They also have a television for entertainment and continue to take one day at a time, even though the government could swoop in at any moment and force them out of the area. And that wraps up today's video. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and give us a like, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from Star 5. Thanks for watching.